Hey fam. So this is kind of like a casual video blog. Like look at that, I have my Tim Hortons right here. So I am making this video because recently when I've been posting photos from when I was in Paris, New York, of models that I worked with, you know, especially in my city when I would go and meet up with people, the first thing that they would ask me is, Jessica, did you get paid to do these? How much did they pay you? Did they pay for your flight? Did the models pay to work with you? That was one of the most asked questions that I received. And I, you know, I was like, I don't really like to talk about money. I don't like to put on the front. Like, I'll tell you guys, I'll tell people straight up, like, no, I did not get paid to do these photo shoots because I'm not the type of person, like, I'm trying to put on a front, like, oh, yes, actually, they paid first class in a jet. Have you, have you been in one before? It's actually, like, really exclusive. I was the only one there. And actually, I brought in a, a cat with me. I'm not trying to make myself out to be something that I'm not. So I'll tell people straight up, like, no, I did not get paid. So no, I was not paid for any of those shoots. They were all test shoots, meaning I did this to build my portfolio. And another thing that I am asked is, did the agency pay for your flight? Did they pay for accommodation? The answer is a big fat no, they did not. So I bet you guys are all wondering, like, why would Jessica pay all this money to just go and do free work? And that is a topic that you can debate for hours, really. For me, I see things as more opportunities than I do as monetary gains. So if I see something as, an, as a good opportunity to help me grow, to add something really good to my portfolio, to build a connection or a relationship with a booker or with you know someone in the industry, I will put money down, my own money, to go and you know take that opportunity because I think that it would benefit me more than being paid. And obviously, I would love to be paid. Who doesn't want to get paid for doing work? Sometimes, actually, I feel like not being paid takes a lot of pressure off so that you're more free to be creative and you're not under the pressure like, oh, the agency is paying me to do all this. So the pictures have to be a certain way. Especially when you're first starting out, you don't want to be super, super nervous and under, again, the pressure of that money being an object there. So no, I was not paid for any of that, but let me tell you, it was the most inspiring five days that I spent in New York City. I would a million percent do it all over again. It was me and my friend Sarah. She styled for me. She did hair and makeup. We went, we did 10 photo shoots, okay? It was absolutely crazy. We had like two or three photo shoots a day and I spoke about this in my last uh, post New York video blog. And at the end of the day, no, I was not paid by any of the agencies, but I feel like I developed a really good relationship with one of the bookers. They loved my pictures. So now I feel like I'm kind of on their radar possibly because they loved my pictures. And, you know, if I ever go back and I need to test shoot again with some models, I feel like that agency will know me right away and will help me out with that. So that relationship is way more important than money for me. I feel like if you're really serious about something, you're not going to just focus on the money. Like, am I being paid for this? If not, I'm not going to do it. At the end of the day, I had some amazing images that I'm able to add in my portfolio. And this made my portfolio so much stronger. I got to work with real professional models in New York City. Even in Paris, when I was in Paris, I worked with those models. And it made my portfolio, it just bumped it up like 20 points. And now it's looking uh, really great. So now I'm even more confident in my work when I'm presenting to an agency or if I want to you know, shoot for a magazine, I can present them with my portfolio with those professional images. You, I'm sure you've all heard that saying, you have to spend money to make money. And this is one of those things. I feel like you have to put your own money into it. I feel like you have to put a little bit of your own money into these projects. It's kind of like a relationship, you know? You want to build that relationship with that person. You don't want to just start off like, hey, uh, let's get married tomorrow. That person's going to think you're crazy, right? So you have to, you know, become friends with them, build a relationship, and then you can be like, hey, um, I think we're close enough now. So we got, you got to put a ring on it. So I think that's kind of like an equivalent to working with agencies. Like, they don't know you right away. They don't know what kind of pictures you take. They don't know how you work with their models. So you have to kind of prove yourself to them in a way. My portfolio is what's going to help me get jobs. And the better my images in my portfolio, the higher chances I am of being hired for whatever job it is. 
So hopefully I've answered that question for everyone who's been asking. Let me know what you guys think about this subject and thank you guys so much for watching.